What's up you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be mainly about hair oils. I have been trying an abundance of hair oils and hair products for my specific type of hair. I think I wanted to show everyone before you go out and spend the money because some of these products are a little bit pricey. What they kind of look like I guess on my hair. Please keep in mind that I do have pretty, I would say it's, it's pretty thick. This is not my natural hair color. This is dyed black almost every two months or so. I try to maintain it as much as possible especially for my type of hair, I like my hair to look really soft, silky, and shiny. I've been looking for a product that will do that, so here we go. Okay guys, so for this little experiment, I didn't change the way I shampooed and conditioned my hair. Shampoo and conditioner that I have from IGK. This is their volume line. I've been really liking it. Just to see the difference and to compare, I blow dried my hair without any product. It was hard to kind of blow dry it in general. The results did put like, were okay. I was trying to run my fingers through my hair and I couldn't because it just kept my fingers kept like getting caught and skipping because my hair was just so like dry. My hair started to get wavy, super frizzy, it was just not cute, not it. Oof, never again doing that you guys. So now the first oil that I did try was, what oil did I try? Okay so the first oil that I tried was by a brand called Playa. I went to an Ipsy event and I got this in a little swag bag. I really wanted to try it. It does have SPF. It is very thin in consistency. So as you can see, it's almost like a water-like consistency. I think it is really cool that it does have SPF for your hair. Oh, I love the way it smelled. And these were the results. They were really nice. I had some skipping through the blow dryer. It was a little bit harsh for me. So I think this hair oil is definitely for someone who has thinner hair. I do not recommend for my type of hair. I probably would not use it again. I came back toward the end of the day and as you can see my hair did get a little bit frizzy. Not as much as without any product but it did get a little bit frizzy. I did not love the overall look of it but it was cute. She was she had her little moment but I think that was it. So the next hair oil is my baby. So this next hair oil is the one, the one that I've been using. This is my pride and joy. This is the Moroccan oil. This oil has changed my hair routine completely. Every time I blow dry it, it is super soft, silky, shiny. It gives me the blow dry that I need. It gives me everything, the shine. I love my hair to look super shiny, especially when you have black hair. 10 out of 10, I highly recommend. If you do have thinner hair, they do have Moroccan oil light. So you don't have to have that thick consistency. So after the day was done, no frizz. Still shiny. I think this next hair oil has been going crazy viral on TikTok and I really, really wanted to try it because I was like, all right, I gotta see the hype. And I don't think it really had a scent to it. Now, this honey infused hair oil by Gesso has a very good thick consistency to it. It's kind of like slimy because I guess of the honey. My hair did look beautiful. It gave me a lot, a lot of volume. The only downside to this oil was that I did not get any shine from it. I think it, it does look a little bit shiny on camera, but in person it was kind of dull and matte. But toward the end of the day, my hair was still straight. My hair was not really frizzy. It, my blow dry kept intact. But I did not love the product. I did like it, but I did not love it. So, and now the last and final product now before you come at me with the whole Olaplex situation, my Olaplex did not have this specific ingredient, the Olaplex oil. I was never really a fan of this oil. I have bought it once before. Now the Olaplex oil is very thin in consistency too. I think it is definitely recommended more for thinner hair. It's nice, it's shiny. There's just something about it that doesn't keep my blow dry nice and intact. It doesn't keep it straight. It doesn't keep the curls at the ends. It's pretty consistent throughout the day. If I were to choose between Olaplex Olaplex and the Gesso oil. I would definitely choose Gesso because it did give me a lot of volume. But out of all four oils, I think my top one is going to be Moroccan oil. Not only does it smell amazing, you guys, but it keeps your hair so beautiful. I know it is a little bit pricey, but the smaller bottle is a little more affordable, so you guys can try it. Which one do you guys like better? I guess it's all in preference. So yeah, that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure you follow me on all my social media. I'm going to link it down below. Bye!